Okay, so we're going to talk about percent change. The way we calculate this is we do the change over the original equals the percent over 100 percent. I need us to make a little change right here. We're going to cross this out. And we are actually going to make it say largest minus smallest. So you'll always subtract the largest minus the smallest number, and then you show how it changed by adding a, a positive or a negative sign. So a positive change means that the price increased. A negative change shows the price decreasing. All right, so let's do these practice problems. So I want to buy a new cell phone. The original cost was $800, but it is now on sale for $650. What is the percent change? So we're going to set up a proportion. We're going to put X over 100 because we know we're trying to find the percent, and 100 always goes underneath. And then we're going to do 800 minus 650 because 800 is a bigger number than 650. And then we're going to put the original cost underneath, which is $800. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cross multiply these and divide. So we're going to do 800 minus 650 times 100, and you should get 15,000, 150,000. And then you're going to divide by 800. So you end up getting 18.75%. And since the price went down, you can either show a negative sign or you can just draw a down arrow. It's up to you. So the percent change, it went down, it decreased. So it's negative 18.75%. All right, let's look at number two. The price of a sweater increased from $27 to $34. Look, it's already telling us that it increased. By what percentage did the price increase? So we're going to set up a proportion. We know that X over 100 because we're trying to find the cost increase. Then we have to set up our original price is the one that comes first. So it's $27. So 27 is going to be the denominator. And then 34 is our bigger number. So we're going to do 34 minus 27 as the numerator. We're going to subtract those two. And then we're going to cross multiply and divide, and you should get 25.93% if you round. We can just leave it. We don't have to add a positive sign. And then I like to draw an arrow just so that I know that it did increase. 